one fine day actually it was a sunday i remember i was just sitting and something happened and i i uh, found tingling sensation in my hand and legs so i i thought something is not correct i i found myself very confused okay i was not able to formulate words i was not able to talk and then I, when i tried to figure out uh to actually what is happening exactly i came to know that i cannot uh, recollect names of objects i cannot relate uh, recollect names of a uh, people so next day morning uh when we did a brain mri then actually it was identified it was a brain stroke ladies and gentlemen boys and girls do you aspire to be an entrepreneur to build your own business to leave a legacy behind if you want to know how to get started or if you're already on your journey and want some help on how to tackle the challenges you are facing this show is for you here at be your own boss we hear from entrepreneurs about their stories some very practical tips and some inspiration it's time to get started welcome to another episode of be your own boss bad things happen to all of us at times right um like an accident or an injury or a sudden illness some people get bogged down by it some get up and fight but then there are those rare fighters who rise from that situation to help the world get better at that these are the true leaders our guest this week is one such leader ashish bobde a software engineer specialist in cyber security and the founder of brain gyan if you haven't heard about brain gyan yet uh, google it and you'll see brain gyan has helped more than million people on various learning techniques how to become cyber smart and how to become cyber secure ashish thank you so much for taking out time and joining us thank you very much sachin for having me over here so ashish um, why don't we start from the beginning uh, with your story uh, can you tell us about your your uh, childhood like your your parents uh, your sibling where were you born yeah so regarding my childhood actually uh, it's a very average uh, kind of childhood so my father used to work in for railways and i have a younger brother and sister and five five of us used to stay actually in very very small house it was just a 10 by 15 square feet house okay so it i was not even uh, i i'll say smart guy i i was very average uh, student overall but uh, over a period of time i started uh, picking up lot of thing and learning a lot of things mm. uh, so then after schooling then what did you do you went into uh... then after schooling actually i, I did my uh, college engineering and learn about instrument instrumentation but frankly speaking not did much in instrumentation and during my college days only actually i got introduced with computers and i i i got my actually passion and i started learning each and everything about computers when it comes to um, i started with actually computer hardware hardware networking software each and everything actually whatever come in terms of computer i wanted to learn so even during that time actually i started my blog i started writing a uh, blog and that was a very initial phase even in india uh, internet and it was not so popular and even e-commerce was not even introduced in india yeah and for curiosity purpose even i learned ethical hacking and all that stuff but not able to use it at that time because there was not even e-commerce site so no one was aware that what is the use of this actually w- what happened actually i learned too many things so i started with computer hardware networking 
software ethical hacking and everything is mixed up and i was not sure what i should have, should be doing next actually <laughs> and that same time that dot com bubble burst happened and it industry gone down and there was no demand for uh, software development that time and that was that's that that's why most of the people was focusing on hardware and networking it was in boom so i i learned that thing and after some time i am even not sure what next i should be doing actually because i did so many things so um, one fine day actually i met with one one of the guy actually who was a team lead in one of the it industry uh, it cmm level 5 company and he asked me what you do i said i know a lot of things but i i'm not sure what should be doing so then he said okay you should be going into software testing so i said what is that so whatever softwares are developed actually they need people who can test it and for testing that software actually you should be having knowledge of lot of things because then only you will able to test it at different level okay and that time i got my uh, what what i can say kick or idea okay this is something i should be doing actually because i can do lot of things and that will helps in software testing and i started in software testing okay so you got a you uh, got a job as a software tester in uh, yes. in like yes okay so yeah i did a short course on software testing to understand how how that works yeah. and from there actually i got into software testing mm-hmm. i i enjoyed actually testing software applications mobile phones gadgets so i was gadget freak actually i used to buy a lot of gadgets i can say even more than clothes i used to buy gadget so every new phone every new gadget i just wanted because i want to just play with it experiment and understand how that works hmm. so looks like curiosity is one uh, key character that you had right and, and this is what leads to testing uh, i mean this is very important in in software testing because you need to figure out yeah. exactly exactly you <laughs> mentioned the right word curiosity so someone if tell me this can't be done okay yeah. my first question my come to my mind is why why can't this can't be done let me see what happens if i do something which no one is telling me to do it and that is what very important in software testing and same thing i can say i always applied in my life as well so mm-hmm. if someone is following certain path and they are saying okay this should not be done okay i'll go and check why it should not be done yeah that's that's very nice i mean that's that's a sign of a true leader because you 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 go the you know uh, the un, unexplored paths if and yeah. then you explore it and that's where that's where you can lead uh, people there so then what then what happened you were working in this software uh, you know company yes uh, i i i started as a software engineer and started using all my skills and started growing uh, very well in that industry so uh during peak of my career actually in 2012 i remember it was my first visit uh, to uk for uh, some business purpose and when i came back actually one fine day actually it was a sunday i remember and i i got brain stroke okay so i it, it so generally I, i we feel like okay brain stroke means it will be very painful or something like that so let me tell you it was not even painful i i was uh, lying in my bed i was just sitting and something happened and i i uh, found tingling sensation in my hand and legs so i i thought something is not correct uh, and i started walking and i i found myself very confused okay so i was uh, like that almost for hour and later on actually uh, i started to talk to my uh, wife and try to tell her that something is wrong and that time i figured out that i am not able to speak okay i was not able to formulate words i was not able to talk okay and then i realized okay something is wrong and then I, when i tried to figure out uh, to actually what is happening exactly i came to know that i cannot Uh, recollect names of objects i cannot relate uh, recollect names of a uh, people okay so 
all of a sudden there was a loss of strength in my right hand and right legs so mm. I, i thought it might be due to uh, weakness and i i might not had my breakfast properly and that's why i asked her actually to give me something to eat but i was not even able to explain her that i want something to eat so you, you were trying to talk but you were just blabbering things and you yeah, were not able yeah, to formulate yeah. the word yeah true yeah that, that that's what happened actually and that that's why actually uh, we visited nearby uh, doctor mm-hmm. and asked him actually to check so he checked and he mentioned that your bp is little bit high and nothing else go home so we came back and even till the evening actually uh, these signs were there mm-hmm. and luckily my younger sister who is a doctor actually my wife contacted her and told her that these, these are the things actually happening actually and she quickly uh, recognized that this is something related to stroke and asked her to visit nearby hospital hmm. so i got into that hospital actually and uh, that evening actually we might have done lot of test actually i don't even remember 10 15 different types of test and they are not even able to find out anything in that test okay mm-hmm. but a funny thing is uh, the nurse used to come and ask me about myself actually what is your age so i still remember i told her 300 years okay i was not able to recollect my address as well so i was not able to tell where where i stay and all that thing so this was a clear sign of a loss of memory actually okay mm-hmm. so we finished over, over everything over there and nothing nothing actually found so we decided to go for mri so next day morning uh, when we did a brain mri then actually it was identified it was a brain stroke on left side of my brain actually there was some blood clot and due to that some um, senses got da- damaged okay mm-hmm. and slowly i started recovering from that but uh, i got hospitalized of almost for 5 days or almost for week over there and again i was going through a lot of tests lot of test and every doctor used to come ask me question and check different uh, things hand movements leg movements I, i was kind of a guinea pig for them so yeah. they asked me not to use any gadget now okay for a week time you will not be using any gadget or not doing anything so i was sitting idle all day but nothing was happening to me actually but i'm not sure actually uh, they asked me to take certain medicines and i think those were uh, blood thinners because they want to monitor actually whether uh, blood clots are forming again and all those things yeah so from the, then after 5 days they said okay you look fine now all tests are good and finally we are not able to figure out uh, what was the reason for that so they mentioned that this might be due to your lifestyle uh, because it was very uh, hectic lifestyle actually uh, mm. i never used to have my lunch or dinner on time uh, always busy and um not not, mm-hmm. not uh, able to spend time and uh, on my health so th- this is my um, suggestion or whatever whatever you take it as that we are too busy with our work and actually we ignore our health completely and that time when something hits us we we uh, wanted to fix it immediately but it took a long time actually to de- damage it and we can't fix it overnight so it takes time so when yeah, when the, right. the doctors told you that it is because of the lifestyle were, were they able to identify anything medically or was this also a guess from their side how did they uh, yeah, yeah they asked me a lot of questions about my routine my eating habits uh, and everything and as per that actually they came to this conclusion that this is due to your overall lifestyle and stress and everything but med, uh, if you ask me medically we never found anything actually so i did all sort of test and nothing was found mm. and by the time when you were uh, you know sent home from the hospital after about a week mm. by this time were you able to recognize people and did you uh, did you gain back your memory yeah after after five uh, after that actually i started recovering a bit i was able to actually recognize people that was the most important thing but with objects i was still struggling and if you ask me to 
uh, ask me about something which happened in past i was not re- able to recollect some of the things and even not able to identify some of the things and what it is mm-hmm. called i i was not sure so e- even while walking on street i used to tell my wife okay look at that object okay what you call that i i am not able to recollect what it is called and she t- used to tell me oh it's bike okay okay it's a bike okay i am not able to recollect it, it, it is called a bike that sort of thing was actually there and there was a confusion actually while counting money i so i completely stopped using cash i completely mm-hmm. stopped using cash and you started using online transaction and everything because i was never used to actually count it correct i i used yeah. to actually mess mess up that even yeah. in in initial days for for first 15 20 days even while crossing the road i used to get afraid of actually crossing the road because i was not able to judge from which side vehicle is coming and all those things yeah wow. and once once i am back actually everyone told me yeah, you came out of such a bad situation and you should stop now should not be going to office and all those things but frankly speaking my even financial situation was not that great that i can afford to not to go to office and sit at home and and what i thought actually if i um don't don't actually fix this now i would not able to fix it uh, even in future so i start so that time my curiosity triggered again and i started figuring out actually why this is happening what is this now my focus entire focus which was earlier on computers now started uh, going towards now brain okay that yeah. because that was the thing actually i was aware okay there is something called as brain and i should be learning more about it so i started learning more about brain so i started finding more and more articles documentaries books so i can even say almost each and every book on uh, brain not scientific or medical book but all other books i have already actually gone through it now then i figure out okay there is certain th- so something called as a mind as well okay and we always talk about brain 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 when there is a something called a mind then started understanding about it and till that time i never meditated or nothing like that so i started learning all these things okay mm. so uh surprisingly uh, our education system don't teach us all those things because then i started saying that uh, now i am uh, learning about the most powerful computer actually which we have on uh, yeah in universe we can say actually most yeah. powerful computer so earlier i used to work with uh, intel or whatever computers with soft softwares and i am now, now working on some most powerful computer which no one able to understand how that works actually yeah yeah so i spent considerable amount of time actually learning a mm-hmm. lot about it uh, and as uh, as a software engineer or software tester i always used to test whatever i learn okay because i, I want to make sure that whatever i tell to other is it tested or you just heard it and you are just telling to someone else so i always try to learn it test it check whether it works and if it works then only tell it to others otherwise i will not tell it to anyone okay this is how it works I- initially after this incident i was struggling with my work mm-hmm. because i used to sit in meeting and i used to get confused because we have to look at uh, big big infrastructure and changes happening over there and understand that and answer all those things but all of a sudden what happened actually after learning a lot of things about brain and mind i understood actually how information can be fed to your brain so that it can consume easily and remember for a long time so i started transforming that information into that form so that i can understand it remember it for a long time and let me tell you actually after that i got employee of the year award wow okay. because uh, i started understanding information so quickly yeah and implement it so quickly that it's almost very very difficult for even senior guys to understand it so for example if you have certain infrastructure and lot of computers are connected with each other and there is a network and how information flow from one in- one computer to another computer and how that is process everything so even after se- explaining multiple times to others they never used to actually understand then i started figuring figuring out i am doing something different so 
everything actually which i am talking about was actually a, like a movie stored in my mind and i look at it as a, a some some sort of animation and even after so many years i remember all those things because everything is visually created in my mind yeah okay yeah. and that was the plus point uh, mm-hmm. and then then everyone started looking at me differently okay this is something different how you do this and all those things so then even i got to know okay now i learned something different which not everyone is aware so let me yeah. share this with everyone and first thing actually came to my mind actually i should be sharing this with students mm. okay that was my idea because they need this most they are going through this uh, struggle pain lot because they need to study a lot of information they need to go for exam and all those things so i thought let's share share this with the students first and that time i i was thinking about some name actually i should give this some name and that one day actually i was sitting and thinking about name what should be name uh, for this i was not even thinking about some organization or company i was thinking about to start something that will help students and that time this name clicked brain gyan so idea of brain gyan came from there it's about brain is the word actually is an english word brain and gyan is a ancient um knowledge or technology something like that so i created a combination of a modern plus ancient technology and came up how this ancient techniques can be used in modern world actually to learn anything quickly to become more confident and uh, achieve whatever you want okay and that's why this same brain gyan so uh, ashish you mentioned ancient techniques so let's let's mm. go one step back here right when, uh, mm-hmm. when you said that when you were researching about brain and uh, you were reading everything that you could find mm. on brain and mm. what did this include did you did you also go back to the scriptures the uh, our um, mm-hmm. ancient scriptures yeah. or was that more of scientific books yeah no 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 we, we, i i have learned certain meditation techniques okay so i i trained my mind actually to do certain things using this meditation te- techniques actually these are ancient meditation techniques then i have learned actually how world memory champions able to remember so much of data and e- even recollect it immediately so these are the techniques which are they are actually from hundreds of years even some of the shlokas in uh, our culture actually already using these techniques actually uh, where there are certain informations are stored in that shlokas okay yeah. so these are the methods from using which we can feed that information to our brain and our brain will remember it for forever okay so I, idea is that in normal uh, case you learn whatever you want and after two weeks time you will forget everything that that is how our brain is designed unless and until as we bookmark our pages you bookmark that information to our brain that this is the important information and please keep it it will not keep it will just delete it if you are not going to reuse it so uh, there are certain methods techniques i have combined with uh, meditation and all routines actually which help me actually le- learn this and scientifically when i was also watching certain documentaries i learned about neuroplasticity so new neuroplast neuroplasticity plasticity okay oh, so neuroplasticity is it is like if uh, uh, you might be seen uh, lizard actually so if you uh, try to kill lizard uh, it will uh, lizard will cut her tail actually and you will feel like okay uh, lizard is dead but lizard can grow her tail back yeah, similarly yeah. certain part of brain is damaged our brain is capable to hand over those responsibilities to other part of your brain hmm. okay so i was watching one documentary where uh, one girl due to pneumonia half of her brain actually stopped functioning hmm. but she started working on it and practicing and later on half of her brain worked as a full brain so uh, that story inf- inspired me so i said yeah. okay this is possible so that means her half of brain can work then why i i even not had that major uh, yeah. impact on my brain it was a slight slightest of a stroke i, I thought yeah. so i i can even recover 
and i started practicing and doing a lot of things and i think due to that uh, even i am able to uh, move that functions to other part of brain maybe and that that's how actually it helps so it's a combination yeah. of ancientic techniques methods and scientific research and we started conducting a lot of free sessions for parents students and making them aware that there is something like this and if you use this you can learn anything quickly you don't have to stress much to learn things and we did it almost for a year's time and we got very good response uh, but with my work i was aware that i can cannot dedicate so much of time so what what's the next option i thought what i can do so i, I thought of recording it because i wanted to spread this as much as possible okay as much as possible that was the idea actually initially i was never thought about actually uh, doing business out of it or uh, making money out of it my idea was to share it to maximum people so that they will get benefited and that's why i decided okay let me actually record it because that that's the way i can reach more and more people so what i used to do actually uh, being a software engineer saturday sunday was always off off for me so i used to get uh, initially i learned how to record videos how to edit videos and all those things uh, how to professionally edit everything um, then after that is done then i decided okay let's go and record this so what i used to do actually uh, i purchased all the equipment stands camera everything and on saturday morning i used to get up and uh, set up my bedroom as a studio okay mm. with green background lights camera everything so initially i used to struggle a lot to uh, record anything on camera or speak to camera but slowly yeah. and steadily i keep practicing keep practicing and later on i thought i i got better at it then we recorded and started editing and started putting on youtube and slowly and steadily i started getting a response very good response actually and that's how actually i reduced doing workshops because uh, doing workshop is kind of expensive thing so every yeah. workshop used to cost me around 30 40k from my pocket actually to teach mm. people yeah. and uh, then i started recording it and recorded everything and uh, started putting on youtube and even i have redu- removed all the ads and everything i i said i don't even want any revenue generated from that i'll keep it uh, open for everyone okay let the, everyone watch and get benefited from that then uh, slowly and slowly what happened actually people started approaching us okay so we we want to learn this and all those things so i said i don't have time actually to teach you all this but uh, i need to make sure what can i do then i recorded one course as well okay i recorded one course and put it on udemy so i said let let's put that on udemy so that i don't have to host it manage it or do anything and at whatever minimal cost people can buy and learn from it yeah and then lot of people bought that right now i think almost 900 students bought that course on yeah. udemy mm. for those of the listeners who don't know what uh, udemy is it's a, it's an online academy uh, type of a mm-hmm. uh, online platform right where you can uh, put courses and people can uh, people who want to learn can actually go and buy or uh, subscribe for a course and uh, pay for it and learn from it right yeah if you think about business concept to listener if you have certain skills actually and if you learn video recording and you can record and put it on udemy and you can still earn from that okay mm-hmm. so as these courses started selling actually i reuse that money actually to do a lot of other things okay then i thought how i can reach to more and more people then i published by one of the book it's called as secret super learn and created that book in such a way that it's a, a hybrid kind of book where you have a chapter and after every chapter there is a qr code and if you can scan that qr code you can watch video of that chapter actually on youtube so this book is in english and this video recorded is in hindi so my mm-hmm. idea is to reach to uh, mm, even even village students okay who don't understand hindi uh, english much actually my idea was to help them actually with this with, with these techniques and methods yeah. so we rec- recorded this video and combined it with book so this book come with uh, almost 3 hours of video actually 
so you mm. go through that chapter then scan that qr code and youtube video for that chapter will actually play mm. Mm. so yes. these videos these were not like on youtube videos these are you put a video on a platform where only through the book they can access the video so it's like part of the book it's it's not like that it's available mm. on youtube as well certain videos are unlisted videos which are not av- available publicly but uh, what i did actually uh on youtube people will go and watch those video randomly and in book it's in sequential format so it's a sequence so you first watch this video second watch this video then this this, this. and that's how actually it helps you if you go on youtube uh, uh there they might play it randomly right okay right. so that book help that way actually so some people don't l- like to watch video they want to read so for them that book will help and if they want to watch video they can just scan and watch that video as well and that's how, how actually um it, it helped a lot of people again and even i have seen increase in uh, youtube views from there actually yeah it's a brilliant brilliant idea book yeah. and the chapters i love this concept <laughs> how did you come up with this Thank idea you. by the way just i used to keep thinking about actually how i can make it work and even there was one more challenge actually i never wanted actually book to be more than 100 pages because students are already under pressure of reading so many books okay and if that book is very thick book with 200 300 pages they will all, already never like it okay i don't want to read this book with 200 300 pages so i created a very tiny small book which is uh, having actually hardly 100 pages with uh practical examples and exercises of almost 3 hours hmm. yeah and it's available on amazon as well stay tuned we'll be right back after this short break you're listening to the be your own boss podcast by the way if you find this podcast useful please share it with your friends and family so that someone somewhere having the potential and the dream to start a business can get some help and some inspiration from this and if you would like to support me so that i can bring in more content please subscribe to the show wherever you're listening to right now and you can also send me your feedback on byob at sachinacharya.com that's byob at sachinacharya.com and now back to the show so to do all of this there was some i mean later once you started putting your courses on udemy there was some revenue getting generated out of it mm. but in the um, but all the all the charity work that you have done right mm. this yeah. all was was this all from your own like savings or were there anybody yes. else yes 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 sponsored good 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 question actually so initially it was all from my pocket then w- one fine day actually there was one seminar and that was regarding this uh, social activities and ngo so i attended that seminar and there i learned about uh, ngo and social activities how those work and all those things so after learning that even after discussing with some of the friends they said you are doing so much uh, of good work actually but this should be done under um, charity and we will also help you actually we want you to help and that time mm-hmm. we decided okay this is this is the good idea initially i was not aware what to do now i know and that's how actually we founded brain gan foundation now with brain gan mm-hmm. foundation i am doing the same thing for free of cost for uh, underprivileged students actually and there are a lot of friends even from india and outside india those are helping us actually to go ahead just two days before actually we did a mega drawing competition for one of the government school over here and almost 350 student participated in that generally people think like what to do with drawing and all but as per my learning you create if you want to activate your creative mind actually you have to draw paint and do these creative things and there your right brain will get activated and we are trying yeah. to all these sort trying to do all these sort of things actually with this kid so that uh, 
they can become much more smarter actually yeah 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 it is uh, i mean art art is very important for the learning process very very important yeah. mm-hmm. very important and that that's how actually we uh, came up with the idea of brain gan foundation and mm-hmm. uh, we started with a uh, few projects even even same with that foundation that we were not aware what we should be doing so it it was a kind of a journey where we were actually looking at different things and figuring out what we should be doing how to optimize it and all those things so initially we did a sustainable development goal project it was educating kids about sustainable goal and uh, i'm i'm really proud to share that it got recognized by united nations and wow. you can even search brain gan foundation and you will find our story on united nations website so it's on united nations website brain gan foundation and that wow. motivated us okay what we what we are doing actually it's really something uh, valuable actually for world and let's let's keep doing and i use my saturdays sundays for all these activities we started contacting a lot of schools and telling them about all these things uh that this is what is possible and uh, we are ready to actually uh, do free workshop for you uh, mm-hmm. and that will help all the students kids actually to understand even to parents because parents yeah. just pushing their actually kids actually to study and do work but no one is telling how to do it so yeah. because they don't know what to do they they are just getting pushed so it i i feel some uh, something like for example you uh, you you have a most advanced car in the world in front of you but no one is teaching you how to drive it and they are just pushing you just drive it just drive it how how they could drive it because no one actually taught you how to drive it yeah and that's what you do in the in your uh, seminar i mean your courses and seminars you yes yes people. yes uh ashish you you mentioned something about uh, like you know your time management and i wanted to mm. touch upon that with your busy schedule the only option mm. the only time you had was saturdays and sundays right mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of our listeners okay are in this similar situation where uh, we mm-hmm. have the the only days we have is weekends and the evenings on uh, weekdays and which mm-hmm. uh, which is compromise if you use that for something else then you're compromising on the family time how did you get the support how was your wife's reaction for this and the, you know uh, how did that conversation go with your with your family very very good question okay so le- let me tell you actually a few things what i did actually i involved my wife in all all these activities so if i am recording something she is behind the camera okay mm. so i am recording she is now editing so i had taught her actually how to edit videos and everything so she is uh, my partner now so wherever i am going for all these activities she is always with me okay so that way actually that helped us actually to bond very well yeah yeah second thing uh, i i'll definitely like to mention that uh, it's all about passion okay you just want to do something you feel like that and it doesn't go like that you will have to sacrifice something for that okay so while i am work, working on saturday sunday recording these videos my friends uh, or relatives doing party somewhere or they are going out for picnic and all those things then you if you want to go there then you will not able to do it because everyone have same amount of time available with them and you will have to decide your priorities uh yeah and uh, something like brain yarn is something actually which will not happen overnight you will have to consistently give your time for longer period of time and after four or five years you might be seeing some results okay so you have to be consistent in your efforts and for that i think you need to be passionate okay there is no other alternative to that because um i am very i get inspired by that bamboo tree chinese bamboo story always okay so you feel like it's not growing it's not going it's not growing but it's working on its roots okay and its roots are getting uh, bigger and bigger and stronger inside and one fine day that bamboo tree will rise actually so business or any activity is like that only actually you need to consistently focus on that and keep putting efforts consistently even even if you don't see any result so uh, like let me tell you first when i publish my first video i i have to ask a lot of people yeah 
please go and like my video please uh, go and subscribe my uh, channel and all those things initial days and i i thought like it's not working it's not working but i never stop i keep recording i keep posting and later on actually it was a situation that we removed our phone numbers from everywhere because there was no time we used to get calls early morning 6 am night 11 30 pm and Uh, we were so busy just responding to these people and helping them how how we can actually uh, use this how we can learn this and all those things it was so difficult that we removed our phone numbers from everywhere mm-hmm. okay so that we can see as a, a growth of a bamboo tree after a certain time or certain period so definitely time manage when it comes to time management i would like to add these two three things mm-hmm. you you can't go alone actually otherwise your uh, family life will get disturbed so it's always better to involve your partner actually in your plan if they can't actively participate at least share your vision with them because uh, yeah. they will understand how passionate you are and they will support in all possible way not uh, always possible them to be with you but they can definitely give you that time okay second thing you need to be very very passionate okay when it comes to brain gyan you ask me to get up at 3 am i'll get up you ask me to come anywhere for that i'll come so i am not even thinking about money or anything like that but i just want to do it that that the passion okay and sacrifices definitely you have to do a lot of sacrifices i don't have television at home okay mm. so i have not watched tv from last more than 10 years i think Oh, wow. Okay. So if you ask me to identify cricket players, I frankly speaking mm-hmm. I don't know na- their names. Yesterday night I was uh, with few, few friends and football my match was going on and I don't know anything about football. Okay. Because I am so much focused on my work and my activities, I don't look at anything anything else. So focus focus is the key here, right? Your, yeah, focus. Uh, and uh, the uh, the secret to focus looks like um from what you just said you're saying uh, to to focus on something you have to say no to other things and you have exactly. said no to a lot of other entertainment uh, or leisure activities to be able to focus on brain gyan because this is your passion uh, that doesn't mean i don't entertain myself or i don't get into leisure activities but i plan it actually so i decide actually when i want to do so for example i am i'm sick and i i i know now i am not able to concentrate focus on something actually and i am not really able to work that's the best time for me to watch some web series and finish it because anyhow i am not able to work right now so i'll finish my web series now okay yeah i, I plan actually things better okay uh, if i want to go out with my family or somewhere so that is planned so I, if you look at my calendar i have calendar booked till next march 2023 so wow. i know what is what is i am doing when i am doing that and when i have time available yeah very very well organized uh, yeah so when when with all what, what's happening right now with with brain gyan uh, academy and brain gyan foundation when you look back right um is there anything that you would have done differently than when you started you know when you, when you started like you, you must have learned some things or made some mistakes right what were those initial mistakes of uh, uh, in the beginning of brain gyan okay so uh, very good question actually i was thinking about this few few days ago actually mm-hmm. and frankly speaking uh, Uh, i thought the way things happened actually if any of that would not happen that way uh, i might not have reached where i am right now okay so maybe that could be a mistake or uh, anything like that if that could have done it in different way i might not have where i am right now and uh one learning i, I would like to share learning is that for since childhood our our parents or our society always ask us to uh, perform best okay Wh- whatever you do you should be first okay you should never fail 
those kind of things and i think that's rubbish because if you want to figure out what you like or what you are good at you need to try 10 different things then only you will come to know okay i am good at this and i want to do this so similarly i i have tried 10 or 100 different things and i would have failed in 99 out of them but that's how I, I figure out okay this is the one thing i like and i want to do this and this is the correct thing okay because even if someone tells you okay don't do this that that's not your learning someone is just telling you actually not to do it if you learn from someone else learning that's good but when you do mistake that's your experience okay and you learn a lot from them that and you will make sure you don't do it again and you now confidently know what is the right path so yeah. Anyone who wants to start, I'll I'll say that there is a concept of called MVP in uh, yeah. IT. Minimum. Okay, minimum viable product. product. Yeah. So always yeah. start with that. Try your concept. See how it works. Even it fails, that's fine. So uh, uh, what I did actually every year, I have a certain amount actually always kept aside for doing these R and D kind of thing. For example, let's consider one lakh. So I decided, okay, this one lakh rupees will go go every year into learning something new or doing some R and D. Even if this entire money goes, that's fine. So this this is uh, uh, like every uh, pharmaceutical company or any company have some research department, and they allocate certain amount to that department and ask them to do research. So if yeah. someday actually they are able, they are able to come out with some phenomenal research that will change and picture of entire world so similarly i decided okay these are the funds i want to put these funds actually to research and i'll do all sort of random things i'll go uh, related to my field actually go ra uh, random thing and learn a lot of things okay so many people think i should learn business 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 only oh no actually there are a lot of other things you should learn time management you should learn how to focus concentrate and these all things will help you in business so it's not only about business. If you are not confident, you are not focused, you are not able to concentrate. Even after learning a lot of business, you will not able to do that, do that business because you don't have basic ingredient actually required for actually being a that a strong person actually when situation is not right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that uh, concept of being comfortable to be in uncomfortable position or situation because your business or whatever your passion is will always put you in uncomfortable situation and if you give up at that time and come back you will never able to achieve but once you uh, start enjoying being uncomfortable because there will be always certain uncertainty what will happen next we don't know so yeah. the way actually you enjoy any thriller movie okay suspense movie where you don't know what is next gonna happen then there is a fun and similar similar fun happens in life and you don't know what's next then you start enjoying that actually and if you have that quality then you you will definitely enjoy your business or whatever passion you are following absolutely yeah very very well said and that's a that's a very valid point uh, and uh, Ashish, you and your wife are involved in BrainGyan. Uh, other than you and your wife, are there uh, any other team members? Do you have any uh, anybody else uh, in the team? So, a very interesting thing actually. Initially, just because of lack of time, I started automating a lot of things. Okay, so I have a habit of automating things. So wherever I yeah. find, okay, I, I need to repeat this thing or I have to add a time over here, I used to automate, automate, automate. And that's how actually we don't have too many team members. Everything, most of the things are automated and uh, they work on their own. Uh, in foundation, definitely we have few supporters, okay, who mm -hmm. support us actually uh, in brainstorming, planning, and whenever activity happens, these... Uh, people are uh, who are friends actually come as a volunteer as well okay so th there i have a team of like five to ten people uh who on uh, the, their availability will join different event and support us right on academy front uh right now we don't have anyone other than me and my wife because 90 percent of work is automated so you have, you have a lot of activities that needs to be done in brain gear academy if i understand right and these activities mm -hmm. 
been automated so that you don't need to spend uh, time on that right like what what kind right. of activities are you doing here uh, certain activities like uh, when it comes to trainings so most of the things are already recorded and available online okay booking an appointment there are softwares called calendly and all so we are using actually calendly so calendly uh, actually merges my three four different calendars and make available slot uh, shown over there okay because i have my office calendar i have my personal calendar and i have academy calendar as well so after combining all these three calendars actually wherever time slot is available that slot will be available for others to book an appointment with me right. okay so that's What's how the- actually i keep Mm-hmm. I think uh, our listeners will be able to, you know, uh, will will benefit from that. Uh, ca- uh, how do you spell Calendly. that? Calendly. Calendly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Like it's this so is like uh, Grammarly mm-hmm. Calendly. Exactly. So you can actually combine your different calendar. First thing, if you are not using calendar, start with Google Calendar yeah. because that's freely available. Start putting because I love concept of time boxing. because if you time box and keep deadline for certain things then only you will able to do it otherwise uh, we are always in default mode okay and you will never realize actually where time is gone actually so if you start scrolling to instagram there is so many interesting things happening on instagram uh, you once you you will come back from instagram you will see actually you have already lost one or two hours yeah because just because you don't have any plan for your day and you have not decided what things to be done and not allocated time to it you will not able to finish it even if you have a time available resources available you will not able to do it just because you don't have a plan for it hmm. and how so do you, you do? start using it yeah Box. i i use yeah. i use calendar so uh, hmm. i have uh, two three calendars actually for uh, respective and i have given a time slot for different things for office work there is a time slot given on saturday sundays is fully available so saturday sunday 10 am to 6 pm it's available so i'll, I'll allocate that time accordingly and considering my personal time when i don't want to work and spend time with my family or on my personal stuff i keep it aside and remaining time slot get booked for different activities and be a foundation activity different meetings meeting with people or planning something uh, or going to some place and everything like that and uh, one to one conversation for example are this podcast recording this is also in my calendar and that's why how actually this will not get overlapped by something else and these yeah. calendars help me actually uh, to even keep on track because i get a notification for that so i'll get notified 30 minutes before that you have this this event and get ready for that and google calendar even have a nice uh, google map and calendar have a very nice feature if i have to travel somewhere okay and i am adding that to calendar it will even notify how much time it will take to travel over there and it will notify that much in advance that you need to leave your house now and all, all those things yeah yeah that's nice and um when did you start doing these things like time boxing it's, it's a brilliant uh, you know concept and um, but there must have been a time when earlier you were not uh, you know putting things on your calendar and now you are how did that transition happen yeah so as i started actually i started learning about brain mind everything actually then i got very uh, passionate about uh, time management or efficiency how i can improve my efficiency because i have all, all of us have same 24 hours okay but some of us actually able to use it so brilliantly they can do phenomenal work so look at elon musk so that guy actually he is work only but still he can use that time so efficiently he is managing so many companies and he can spend time everywhere how they are able to do it so that's how actually i started learning a lot about this time management and everything and procrastination why we procrastinate why we delay thing and all those things so that time i learned a lot of different techniques so as i mentioned i don't tell anyone about it uh, even before try uh, trying it so i tried almost everything of it and those thing who which work for me actually uh, actually i sharing with people so time boxing is the technique i am using since last i think 
more than five six years now. Yeah. And every year actually it got better and better. With Calendly, it it got much better because I, I have a paid subscription of Calendly, so that helps mm. me lo- do a lot of things actually, which normal calendar can't can't, can't do. Yeah. It's yeah. so you you find value in taking uh, you know paid subscription where it matters and it enhances yes. your life. Yeah. Like, uh, it's, it's because a, I, I think I think like uh, if if I hire, if I hire a personal secretary, I have to anyhow actually pay her her salary actually, and she will not be working on Saturday Sunday and even during some other hours, uh, non working hours. So there are a lot of tools and softwares available. If you use it actually properly, that will make our life very easy, very easy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Ashish, looking at all the success that you've had at, at Brain Gang, I mean, being able to reach mm. more than a million people and being recognized by United Nations is quite something. Um, who would you like uh, to give credit to? I can't name a one person because uh, different people got involved actually at different levels. And let me tell you what I have experienced actually when you're uh, trying to do something really good. there will be a lot of people who will be supporting you okay so uh, generally it, we think like no one will come and support but uh, what i have experienced actually i have started uh, doing all those things and as people realize of oh, okay he's trying to do something very good actually for our country or for overall people a lot of people came themselves and helped me actually so i don't know how how that happened actually that might be different sort of energy for example uh, yesterday uh, for drawing competition i have ordered uh, draw, uh, drawing papers and um, oil pastel colors okay so people will just send me all those material even if i don't know them without even paying that i don't mm-hmm. know how they know that i am going to pay them anyhow generally in any kind of transaction what we have seen actually everyone will ask us to pay first and then only i'll i'll send you that so i have yeah. so many experiences where i tell them actually we are doing this 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 for that i need this please send it and these guys will not even ask for money okay mm-hmm. they will send it to me directly so i i i ask them okay do i need to send you money right now no no sir you just do it what you are doing and i i know you will pay us and let me tell you i have not even seen those guys ever not even seen those guys so i i have received truck load of stuff actually from this this different suppliers who i have never seen and they will still send it without i am paying them any single rupee of advance yeah okay and later on definitely we settle and they will always send us more for example i have asked for 500 quantities they will send us 550 okay they they will send us 550 so that's why giving the credit i'll i'll say to everyone who actually motivated us inspired us i'll give credit to all of them they can be our cas they can be our uh, distributors they, they are our volunteers every every one of us even my parents yeah. and uh, definitely my wife who always been with me for doing all these crazy things because uh, she also sacrifices a lot of times because rather than going to movie we prefer to go to some school actually under privileged school and help them uh, rather than going to some party actually we prefer to sit here and plan or do accounting of uh, uh, all the stuff so uh, definitely i'll give credit to her as well because without her support i could not do anything hats off to her and um i wanted to also look at this from another angle right in all all the act, mm. all the things that you do at uh, brain gap what is it what do you love the most what wakes you up in the morning with full charge that you know i want to do this today or what's your favorite favorite activity in this business is transformation okay so when someone transforms that is the biggest achievement for me actually okay so i feel very blessed that i am capable enough to transform someone's life okay that can be some school kid actually that can be someone who is stuck in certain situation and not able to figure out how to get out of it 
and yesterday i'll give you example of yesterday actually yesterday i received one message from one of my friend so it was his thumb with ink on that and he mm. just mentioned thank you so i said why why are you saying thank you to me and what is this i don't know so yeah. he mentioned okay i finished my uh, deal of purchasing house just now so i that i i said it's your hard work and everything so he said no uh, actually you will not understand this was actually month ago we discussed something and that discussion triggered something in my mind and due to that i took this action and purchased this house so i was thinking about this from last 20 years but not able to take action and just because of that one hour of conversation i am able to take this decision and finally actually acted upon it so thank you very much for that so these wow. kind of things actually really motivate and inspire me because just uh, i can say it uh, in this way i am in miracle business actually okay i am in a miracle business where people spend time with me people talk yeah. to me and miracle happens that's, that's the most interesting part it is it is yeah and uh, you know uh, when you look at the the way the lives are being transformed around you it's you feel good about it but also there is the the blessings that come your way right from all those children all those friends all those corporates people who have uh, benefited uh, who have you know uh, learned from your uh, from what you're sharing um ashish Uh, one final question as we get towards the close here how can people reach out to you you I, i know you're not mm-hmm. sharing your number anymore because you're getting too many calls <laughs> so okay what's the so yeah people can reach out to me um i can say uh, using this link okay braingan.in/talk rengan.in/talk okay ha okay. uh, so that you will land up on my calendar booking system where you will see my available time slot so you can pick any time slot and uh, book a call with me and these time slot only next 3 days time slot will be shown over there because i i know about next 3 days because it's always dynamic and changing so anything any new activity comes up i add it to calendar and according to that calendar timing will get adjusted and shown over there. Mm-hmm. okay and is this also linked through calendly that how you are uh, managing this part yes. uh, this calendar yes this is this is linked through calendar <laughs> and you will get email automated email once you register over there all all the instruction what to do next and whatever yeah. time it schedule you will get notification 24 hours before 10 minutes before that please get on this call yeah awesome awesome ashish uh, thank you so much for taking out time and thank you so much for sharing your journey your learnings with us what a powerful journey what a powerful comeback from uh, you know what what happened to you in uh, 2012 and how you bounced back and and helping the world really uh, thank you and hats off to you thank you very much sachin thank you very much ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that was ashish bobde the founder of brain gear academy and you've been listening to be your own boss